This video will introduce you to using Zoo Files, UVM's central data storage system, to store and manage your GIS data. Any work you do for your GIS courses should be stored on Zoo Files. Zoo Files has a number of advantages. First, it can be accessed from anywhere. Second, the data are backed up. Third, it has a restore functionality. And the only caveat is that you have to be on the UVM network either connected directly through a LAN or wireless router, or connected via the VPN, the virtual private network. If you're in a UVM computer lab, you're already connected to Zoo Files. If you're using a personal computer or connected via the wireless network, you'll probably need to map to Zoo Files first. To do this, map a network drive to slash slash Zoo Files slash homes, and then log in using your UVM, NetID, and password. You can decide if you want to reconnect at sign-in, and if you're using a computer that someone else has signed into Zoo Files, you'll need to connect using different credentials. By default, your Zoo Files directory will contain a folder called Public HTML. You can create as many other folders as you need. For your GIS coursework, it's a good idea to create a folder called Courses, and then create subfolders for all the courses that you are taking. All of your data, maps, and documents should be stored within this folder. Let's look at how we can use Zoo Files to store some GIS data. Within my NR143 folder, I'm going to create a new folder called Temp. I'm then going to head over to the Vermont Geodata Portal and download some GIS data. In this example, I'm downloading a shapefile of the deer wintering areas in Vermont. A shapefile is a vector GIS data layer. In this case, it's a polygon data layer in which each polygon represents a potential deer wintering area. I'm going to download that zipped up shapefile to that temp directory within my NR143 folder. Once I've downloaded the data, I'm going to head back into Windows File Explorer and unzip or extract that zip file. Once I've extracted the shapefile, I can go into the subfolder in Windows Explorer and take a look at it. You can see that a shapefile is not a single file, but a collection of files. With the data unzipped, we can move over to ArcGIS Pro, where I'm creating a new project. I'm electing to store that project within that temp directory within the NR143 folder. Once my project's been created, I'm going to go into the catalog, add a new folder collection, and navigate to the directory where that Deer Wintering Area shapefile is stored. I can now go ahead and drag and drop the Deer Wintering Areas into my ArcGIS Pro map and view the data. I can now zoom, interact with and query the Deer Wintering Area shapefile. 